All right, well, let's say that the card gag for your particular shot is not going to work, and you need to create geometry for your projection objects. Well, uh, that can be quite expensive uh, if you're adding geometry everywhere uh, where there's edges. So to keep the, uh, the poly count down, what you can do is just create um, geometry on the edges of your object. So to do that, um, you can find which edges that you actually want to see because like our camera is here and it goes throughout here. Um, so these edges right here where we're not seeing the profile of them, uh, we're not going to worry about. So, uh, but for this particular part of the base, we see these edges right here pretty clearly. So if I were to um, up-res these edges, what I would do is uh, duplicate that uh, box, and I would subdivide this box several times, and I would make sure that I would have uh, that they keep the hard edges and geometry borders selected so that when I uh, subdivided this, I would be getting um, subdivides without changing the border edges. And I would do that until I got some pretty good density um, of our object. So I'm probably going to do it one more. Okay. So uh, with this box, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut out um, the, uh, the parts that I don't need um, because I'm trying to save space, uh, you know, or, uh, you know, geometry count here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete those. And I'm going to select these here. And delete these. And last, if we look at the top here, take a look at these and delete those. Okay, so what we've got now is just kind of this frame on this box. And uh, what we can do at this point is uh, use a scattering tool. Um, that uh, you can get off of Creative Crash. So here is the tool, Vertex Randomizer. You can just download that. It's a Maya script. It's really easy to use. Um, all you need to do is um, open up your script editor um, and uh, just take your Vertex Randomizer Mel script and um, just pop it right into that window. And then, uh, you know, you can have your vertexes selected and then just do an execute. And so it's going to bring up this window and it's going to ask you, these are the selected vertices. Um, now it's time to randomize um, our vertexes. So um, the values are all kind of based on your world scale. And so, you know, there's no way to really know how much these values you ought to do unless you try it out. So um, the values that I'm going to put in there are going to put, uh, are going to be much, much less. So it's going to put 0, 0, 001, and the maximum is going to be 0, 0, 004. And then if I press apply and then wait for it to think this through. So there you can see that it has uh, moved all these vertices up and down and uh, changed the shape of the profile here. Okay. So what I'm going to do now at this point, now that we have kind of this uh, jagged edge, um, I'm going to grab our two boxes here. And I'm, this box here, I'm going to grab its edges. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, bevel. Oops. I'm going to bevel these edges right here. And it's, gonna, it's going to hide those edges 
and it's going to show through um, these edges here. So um, I have a low res interior box and a high res frame. So after um, you get to this point, um, it's kind of the high frequency noise on the edge, but you can also um, go to your sculpt geometry tool and uh, start, um, uh, you know, pushing things in just a little bit so that you get um, just a little bit of variation in the, in the surface so you can push and pull and, uh, and get some variety there. So I'm going to kind of pull this out just a little bit. So there's a bit of a bump there. And you can go around this shape like that. So um, that's, how, that's how you would create this irregular shape. So now instead of that razor's edge, we have um, you know, a little lump there and, and uh, some shape going on there. So uh, that's how you'd create that, you know, without, you know, killing your whole scene um, with geometry. And that doesn't, uh, <clears throat> that doesn't add very much more to your scene. So let's take a look at this when we actually project onto it. So here we are in Nuke, and you can see that this is our edge of our box. And uh, I've saved out the new version with the uh, jagged edges. And if we flip to that, you can see um, that we do have quite a bit more of a natural edge. This is rounded here. It kind of bumps up. And we have like little uh, bumps back and forth. You know, one you know good thing that you could do is actually create a little uh, cut in right there to kind of support the image that uh, these are two different pieces. Um, of cement. So if you take a look at that and then go back to the razor's edge there, you can see that there's um, a big difference there. Um, and you know, you can, if this is too subtle for you, you can take it back into Maya and really bump it up a lot more. So you can see that's the razor's edge and this is the, the really soft soft edge.